remove the oil cap. Put it on the hood latch so you don't forget to put it back on. And place your funnel in there. Remove the drain plug. You would require a 14 millimeter socket or wrench. To minimize spillage, make sure you get a good sized drain pan. If your oil is still draining and you have a second pan, just place your pan above the filter and loosen it with your other hand very slowly because oil will start to come out. As you can see, I'll give you a better look after I put the drain plug on. Take your new drain plug and gasket that I've put on there. There's the gasket on the drain plug. Put it on hand tight. And I will torque it. Wipe as much as you can up. You want to lubricate the seal. Lubricate the seal of the oil filter with some oil. And fill oil in here. Because you're going to place it up like this when you tighten it. So you're just going to have a little bit of oil inside. So I'll show you. I'll fill it with a little bit of oil. Just to get it primed easier. Okay, that's good. Put your filter in there. And it goes clockwise. Just make sure it's the correct filter. It should go on pretty easy. Now you want to get a clean rag. And tighten it up hand tight. As much as you can tighten it up with your hand without reefing it on. Now that we have drained the oil, torqued the drain plug, and torqued the oil filter, and or just tightened it as tight as we could by hand, I will now check the tire pressures on the vehicle. Now that we've lowered the vehicle, or if you're on jack stands, now that you have taken the vehicle off the jack stands, you will now put the oil in the vehicle. Get a funnel so you don't spill.
take your oil cap, place it back on the vehicle. Now you're going to start the vehicle for a few seconds, let it run, and then we'll check the oil level. This is the dipstick, wipe it clean, wait a few seconds for the oil to drain back into the pan because you just had the vehicle started. As you can see, we're a little short. Just slightly. So we will top that off right now. Loosen the drink, the cap, the oil cap. Grab your oil. Cap back on. Give it a few moments for that new oil to run down into the oil pan so you can get an accurate reading. Wipe your dipstick once again. Sometimes when you look at the dipstick on a Toyota, it looks like it's all over the place. Just keep spinning it and you'll see a line. The lower line of where oil is is always the correct one, not the high one. That's just oil splattering. So we have a good oil level. So now the oil change is complete. So that's how you do an oil change on a 2007 Toyota Camry four-cylinder. Please subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more videos on this vehicle.